All right. Uh, this week's commentary is a battle between the Puzzle City Pickapex and the um, team coached by Caitlin. So this week's match was pretty good. It was pretty straightforward. It was it was a well fought battle. So here you can see I start on my battle with uh, Cosma and. Um, Caitlin starts her battle with um, Golbat. <laughs> wow! Something. Listen to me, not even know the so, name of Pokemon! But I think, uh, do you oh know, that um, Dragon right there was a real pain in the ass to fight. Um, <coughs> so, the boys in my IT department worked up this idea that I should fight me with. commentate she my commentary. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there were some moves made. Oh my god. So, uh, that, I think. Uh, they had me get sober for a minute. In the end, like, kind of hurt me. And uh, <laughs> so here so, I am, listening to myself talk, which is anybody I know is kind of a bummer. Past time. Um, I know. Pretty fucking great. Just because I had to play a really tanky. Oh. Uh, I really had to, uh, like, to use the bulk of my team a lot this week. And I kind of expected that going in. Wow, am I calling my Caitlin team that? I can't shit. remember that Pokemon. How but she has a certain Pokemon that um, resisted me pretty well. So I had to play around that because I did predict you know that I I've missed you guys. she would bring Pokemon it to Battle this League week's battle. It's Especially been a little bit. I don't think she brought one like yet. Been brought in front it yet. On this microphone. So uh, I tried to do some damage to my Tentacruel. But I got that burn down, which ultimately helped me in the end. Yeah, you got the uh, burn down. Good for you. And as you could see throughout this battle, I tried to put up a lot of hazards. Mm, you're telling uh, about I, those I hazards. I wanted hazards to field as much as possible because... Yeah. Uh -huh, wow. Well, it was just... Um, it was <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm like choking at dead the air. Yeah, these people wonder what I'm like. There's only one team fogger around her team. It's actually oh my God. Am I still um, talking? So I, I figured if I could hazard it up, uh, along with my tanks, I could just pick down the health, and you're really gonna see that. Yes, so yes, yes. So it was a bad out, game. I got two of my best players in the switch. So I had to switch out. My tanks. Uh, the point is. So again, really going with those hazards that I mentioned I, that I was tanks. going with. I did what I needed to do. I showed Not up bad. and I coached my team. You know what? It's funny. Because listening to myself talk makes me realize I got this sexy voice. Uh, so, so here you the, see me wasting the my stamina. Here, the poison really hurt me. Yeah, it's a waste to throw away. Um, the, the year 1996. My Salamence and the way I've been how to him. him. I have not had good luck with Salamence. I did a lot, I had a lot more luck with Kiriyam. In my opinion, and this trade is kind of starting to be brought into question a little bit for me. Oh, being brought I know into that question. I did yeah. cover the whole mm -hmm. getting walled by Greg, taking my crush ice, the, um, but I miss zero zero one zero zero uh, one zero one 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 zero. That guy was my bro. I don't know. As you watch me play settlements, you realize that there's just it doesn't really go my Which way. Which version of me is louder that, right now? Because anybody who's listening is probably going to be hearing two of me right now, and I want to know which one they hear. I'm the important one. Listen to me, you assholes. Ah. So he uses Roost here, which, you know, I kind of didn't expect. <sighs> Again, this, this I don't know why I'm just elements and sorry. and everything. It's just frustrating with the poison and all that, and I kind of played it better. But there were a couple of Pokemon on her team that freaked me out. Uh, like the one from, the one that I mentioned earlier. It looks like an embryo, I can't remember the name of it. It's green, kind of like a freaky teddy bear kind of thing. Ah. Ah. Green freaky teddy bear thing. Let me look that up. Use Google here. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Here. Green embryo Pokemon. Oh, there it is. Wow. Green Uculus. So I want to switch it up for Gigalith because I want that sand up. Green Uculus? You know, Gigalith is a pretty tacky Pokemon, so it's going to come to my advantage. Um, Land later see it. Uh, this whole battle is just kind of a late it's game gross. frustration. I don't want to say that I played stall. This I played against uh, stall. Battle, no, I played against but Caitlyn. In a way, I feel like I did. Oh my god! And you know that goes hand in hand with lying to you guys on public just media. Me having to listen. Pokemon Battle League kind of use every trick up my sleeve. You guys gotta know. I did really sober me does not know. Lying to you, I 
thing. I, I apologize. Yeah, he's just my cell taking a beating. 1976 is probably not enjoying being on my team because 1976 was a money. great year. Let's look up what happened in 1976. He's in the Cosmos Shadow. No pun intended. Events. 1976 events. I love Googling stuff. I Google stuff all the time. The Liberty this Bell hurt. moved to a new home in 1976. Again, just a waste of a Salamence. Um, poorly played. Cambodia was renamed the Democratic Kampuchea. Figure out how to what best the use fuck him. Is that? And it, it wasn't the, the most effective use of his elements by far. Sarah and I enjoyed this. I got a free switch in with life in prison my top of Coco. President Who Gerald actually Ford. was able to do a little bit of work with Whoa! In the year 1976, um, Barry Manilow was number one in the charts, on folks. Barry Manilow. In-game battling abilities. What? The and, supersonic uh, Concorde in its first commercial flight? That's the plane with the cool white nose, you guys. Listen. So, as Dr. Coach this thing is brought back post and doppelganger this is a move that coach made me mad. Jacob Andrews um, as a coach I would like to say to you that tonight is not a normal night that was a lot of anger night on my part that I broke out my old friend um, Hydreigon should not be faster than top yeah, of Coco that's right Vodka, Hydreigon was choice um, scarfed to move drink. faster and if you ask me Caitlin oh my god am I still talking was prepared for me that. I'm um, trying to talk to my fans shut the fuck up for me for this oh my week. god definitely wanted to win I think that Hydreigon was choice scarfed just to be able to counter my, uh, Tapu Am I Coco. talking about the whole fucking Tapu Coco that. destruction with the thing fucking around, thing? The green yeah, you built your Hydreigon to beat a Tapu Coco. Um, Good for you. So gave the advice. Look at you. Is, it you killed two of my best Pokemon my because you're this thing. for me. It's called you know Pearl. what? I don't know what it is. I'm not, I can't remember. ask this week. But you know, Kate and I honestly, I'm sorry being a dick. You did really, really good. If you're listening to this, which I don't think you do, This thing was a huge problem for me. And you did really good this week. You kept hard. You did your research. I kind of about it. probably found a couple of things to send me to you in case I got arrested. I'm falling out of my chair because the floor looks so comfortable. And I think anybody watching this commentary right now, they are going to especially think, that I'm an yeah, asshole. This is going to be an issue, and they're going to think I'm an asshole because I'm come. talking over my uh, side of the just because and this sober thing me is actually commentating on the world of Pokemon. I have to deal with. And drunk me is Thank God for these seeds. Um, jerk off me. So we're going to deal with it as well. Aw, buddy. But for me, there's a lot of statuses, a lot of hazards, yeah, and that's, that's really what me and my boys were uh, able to pull, pull, uh, put down to pull through this week. So it's useful. Wow, you suggested three way to one person. I can hear myself yes, typing. You. Typing. I'm sorry. I'm just oh my god, what was things. I doing? Typing over a commentary? Who the fuck does that? <gasps> so here's this fuck Corona. Oh, I don't okay. know why it's named Earl, but then again. Not only really why is it named Earl. So why is the Bulk Corona not on the, not on the Bulk Corona? Greg, you've got to grab like, this thing. Usually it's a pretty long bug. It's a kick ass. But Reasons pick it like up this. anyways. I, I, I could tell the whole thing was with the oh, hazard. Casey, so you listen to this week's commentary. I want you to know right now, and, my uh, mindset is me coming for you. My benefit, like the Volcarona would have really hurt. The Pikapex are on a white street, and they're going to the playoffs. I swear that. to God I'm getting them there. They offered me an extra eight million and a court hearing to see my son, my great dame. One more time. So I miss my dog, you guys. So you know what, I'm gonna win this. Being used I'm gonna win this I'm gonna go to the championship. And I'm but a, I was able to take it pretty well because of my way Pokemon unless it's unless it's Evan because he does really good and he's going to beat me. And uh, 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 you know what? No, I got nothing bad to say. Evan, you're doing really good this season and I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Ian Schultz, however, sucks this season. And I'm saying his full name because there's a million Ians out there because it's a generic shitty name. So you know, I'll go ahead and Google it. You're not going to find anything out. Ugh, disgusting. So the Hydreigon Plus, I mean, Jacob out. makes it. He's undefeated, but he's and only undefeated I because mean, he knows so much. So back take out, somebody like me no, who knows nothing, and put no him up against somebody really like Jacob who knows everything. Because at this Chances point, are, I'm a wild card, and I'm going to get something unexpected. Kind of okay. He didn't prep for it, I might be good. Or get my ass handed to me because I don't know what I'm doing. Either way, I'm a doctor, you guys. I can replace hearts inside of people without hearts. I feel like I got outplayed, in a way. But I didn't. It just it hurt to lose two of my best Pokemon. You know, the year 1976 and five beers. It did hurt to lose two of my best Pokemon. Silver me is right. But well, I was Silver just me. playing Pokemon that could resist, bag, you know, and that would tank it because I didn't want to get smashed. To functioning pieces. in society, and you only see, he only shows up like once a week, by the way, for like an hour. Whew, I got a problem. 
You guys should really call somebody about this. Like, this has like been an entire cry for help the whole time, and nobody's called anybody or said, "Hey, let's get the doctor to AA." Nope, nobody cares about me. Nobody wants to help me. It's funny when I get drunk and talk about my life. Why would any of you help me? <laughs> oh, God. What a nice name, guys. So here's just some back and forth. You can see these two hitting each other. Oh, are. please. This Ranaculin, whatever it's called. Green Embryo. Um, actually, not even hitting each other. Pearl versus just, Terrathorn and Giggle. It lasts for like it's kind of a slapping machine. fight. Oh, watching these two minutes. go back and forth. And it That's wasn't really fun to watch as a but, coach. Uh, uh, you know, if I know anything about Pokemon battling, it's that Pearl versus Riard Roomba is a real battle. You guys. It's a Taco Coco. Uh, oh my god, I need coins. Um, and I knew that the choice oh, was going to be I think it was likely. Uh, it turns out. Oh my god, it tastes it like soup. Prepared for oh, it tastes like old entered. pea soup. So I wasn't really it's really dripping out of my all. cheeks. Uh, oh, you guys, it threw up on my desk a little bit. Uh, the knowledge in the back of my head. I knew me. that this opponent of mine had prepared to fight hard. Oh, and fight hard. In a smart way. Not just an uh, aggressive, I want to knock out a Pokemon kind of way. And it's matches like these that really make me um, appreciate how disappointed I feel with matches like me oh, versus Oh, you appreciate your disappointment, um, you little girl. He's a scumbag, a bottom feeder, and a low life, and Sorry, he probably touches years. children in his spare time. Yo, five beers. Um, Neither, oh, God, you know, you I, I didn't prepare for my battle at all. I didn't know to expect going into it, and because of that, I just got destroyed. Guys, I'm talking to It was embarrassing, because it happened in the big school. Fake drunk reported podcast. And to be honest, you know, it's just Pokemon Battle. Drunk recorded podcast. That's now been recorded. A big deal to me. But uh, it still didn't feel very good, and I wasn't fond of it. Listen, so, you know what I'm talking about. It was a tough time in the locker room, and a lot of the boys weren't happy with that. Oh, they and were I knew that as a coach, I kind of let them down. No. And that was a bad feeling for me, uh, but sometimes that's just the way shit goes. So, I, I, I did my best, and by saying that, I realized I didn't do my best. So like I said, it's just, it's kind of a harder move here with these Pokemon just fighting. And I had to get my Sandstorm back out just because I knew I had to pick away at this thing. And I had some misses with Gigalith that really uh, kind of hurt me. I didn't want to deal with that, but it happened nonetheless. When I was a kid, my dad used to take me camping. I miss camping. Oh. Hmm. I wish I was still a kid. I liked camping with my dad. The only nice thing he ever did for me. I mean that and told me I'd never accomplish it. So that Sharpedo comes out and I, like Sharpedo. I I knew what I was doing with that Sharpedo while I was waiting for that. So I still had the Pokemon that I did. Thankfully Sharpedo is really squishy. Yeah. And um, the thing about Sharpedo is he can really boost yeah, his speed, and I have a Pokemon that uses Gyro Ball, Pokemon so battle. I was happy going into that. But at this, this point, is this is the pinnacle. I mean, of science. I knew I could tank everything That's for a minute. What, this is. what I should do is and sober up in the morning. Just looking at the remaining commentary, of front, front front of the room, commentary uh, and commentary. Uh, but Kaylin, as a coach, really worked hard for it this week. Wow, and I gotta hand that to her. Um, she earned the toughness and the frustration that came from me, while it was not fun to deal with five beers or the year 1976 in the locker room, nonetheless it did have to happen. I guess it did. I'm glad I played smart and I, um, I'm glad we were able to pull through a win. I'm Shut up smart. conscious brain, you You guys, I don't think I've ever been this truck for a commentary. Like, I'm just sitting here taking my clothes off because I don't know what I'm doing. It's just comfy. <laughs> oh no. This is how I got my license taken away. I got it, did this. I went into the break room. You can't be naked in the break room. There's a lot of reasons. It's just the lore of Jacob Andrews is just expanding the world. He's 
commentary. If you're actually following and listening, you're probably confused as shit. Ugh. So, when I was a kid, I, I always thought I'd be an astronaut when I grew up. Funny thing, to be an astronaut, you got to pass the light tests, and to do that, you need 20-20 vision. And I don't have 20-20 vision, because when I was a kid, and my mom didn't want to watch me while she was getting ready for work, she was going to make fun of the TV, so I watched TV to kind of bother myself. Well, I don't think a big hit. Oh, but I think I have leech seed up, so I should be good. Yeah. Oh, this is no problem. Pearl going to die here. Oh, yeah. It's all done. Bye, Pearl. My mom used to put me in front of the TV. And I'd watch it, and my eyes went bad because I'm just staring at fucking TV every morning every five days a week. She had to go to work. So there goes my eyes. So now I had bad eyes. So I couldn't be an astronaut. So I had to become a doctor. And the stressful life of a doctor led to being an alcoholic. And now I'm a commentator on Pokemon battles. And also sometimes I work at Arby's. I'm kidding, I've never worked at Arby's, but one time I did go back to make my own food because I don't trust them to do it right. You know, somebody like me who's on TV and a professional doctor, well known by everybody in the world. I'm like the LeBron James of commentary for Pokemon, really. And uh you know, I still want the artist to spit my food. Oh, it's over! In fact, I remember earlier, uh, I, I stopped talking because I was like, Drunk Me is gonna just ramble on, so I should just give him the chance now because I'll probably redo this later because I hate myself. So that was my commentary for this week's battle. It went well. Casey, I look forward to battling you, all my fellow coaches. You guys did good this week. I'm proud of all of you. League Commissioner Jacob, if you're listening to this, here's a hypothetical high five. I high five myself for you. You're doing good, and I appreciate all the work you put in this league because we all have fun doing this, and without you, it wouldn't be possible. Um, maybe Evan would do it without you, but Evan wouldn't be as good as it because he's already running a Pathfinder table, and he works like a real job as like a supervisor, and he has like a life, and you know. But I mean, I'm not saying you don't have a life and you don't have a job. I'm just saying like you do a really good job of everything, and we appreciate you. And I've just been going on, but I finished two beers in the check time that this commentary has been going. I had two tall, you know, pints of Bud Light, and it's gross, and it tastes bad, but hey, I'm here, it gets the job done, am I right? Oh my god, commentary's been over for like five minutes, and I'm still talking. Did you guys know kangaroos can't jump backwards? I'm going to Google another fun fact real quick. Fun facts. All right. Is Elton John a knight? In 1996, Elton John, I don't know who that is. Top 100 random fun facts. Here's the ending finale of our Pokemon commentary this week. Number one, banging your head against a wall burns 150 calories a day. Number four, when hippies are upset, their sweat turns red. That's fake. Number 17, polar bears can eat as many as 86 penguins in a single city. <laughs> And polar bears can eat as many as 86 penguins in a single sitting. Why the fuck is that posted? Who did that study? Who sacrificed 86? 86 penguins to see how many a polar bear can eat in a single sitting. Oh my god, I need to go to bed. I need to lie down at least. This is it for my commentary. Good job this week, everybody. This has been another installment of... Pokemon Commentary 27. I'll gag myself with this bottle. Alright, good night, everybody. <laughs> 86 penguins. What the fuck? <laughs>